AMD's recent news, why I believe it's a game changer. Hello and welcome. My video today is about AMD's most recent announcement. AMD's re recent announcement states that Intel will be using AMD's graphics processor technology. I believe this is a very good deal for AMD because everyone knows Facebook's new wireless Oculus Rift headset, which will cost around $200 and their plans to launch in the spring 2018, same time as Intel. I believe AMD will benefit, benefit most from this. By pairing up with Intel, AMD gains a cut of the profits for the high-end laptop market. Intel can start what might prove to be the opening volley on a long-term battle against Nvidia. Intel realizes that AMD is not a main threat going forward. The real battle is not in CPU, but rather GPU, the graphics processor. If you take a long-term point of view, Nvidia's GPUs are taking on more CPU functions with time, and this will only get worse for Intel and AMD. However, the high-end APU market is something bo that both AMD and Intel lack. Sales here will benefit both companies. The semi-custom chip by Intel and AMD represents a massive sea change in the industry. I assume the gross margins will be in line with other AMD semi-custom projects, but AMD will make up for lower margins on the high volume of products sold. The APU is estimated to ship in the first quarter of 2018, so basically every time Intel sells a computer, they are making the same profit and revenue as a PS4 and Xbox One. But since this is a computer, AMD's margins might be higher than console sales. Currently, in order to play VR on a laptop, you need at least a $1,500 laptop equipped with Nvidia's GTX 1060 or better. With the AMD Semi Custom chips, Intel could potentially sell a high-end thin laptop for $1,000 that has HBM memory and Vega GPU technology that could handle VR and 4K gaming. Intel is also planning to release multiple Radeon GPUs, giving customers a variety of prices. AMD should also receive a big R&D budget to help improve their GPU technology. So AMD could lower their R&D budget and still be competitive to Nvidia and finally enter the high-end laptop market. Around 60 million laptops are being sold every year and AMD will capture a lot of that market share with the help of Intel. One day after the big news from Intel partnership with AMD, Intel announced the appointment of Raja Koduri as Intel's chief architect, senior vice president of the newly formed core and visual computing group, and general manager of a new initiative to drive edge computing solutions. In this position, Koduri will expand Intel's leading position in integrated graphics for the PC market with high-end discrete graphics solutions for a broad range of computing segments. I'm not sure what this means exactly, but I believe AMD realized that they will never beat Nvidia in the GPU space, so they decided to collaborate with Intel to challenge Nvidia in the GPU and artificial intelligence space. Roger Koduri working at Intel will have an extremely large team of engineers and a very large R&D budget. Now, disclaimer, this is just my personal thoughts and my theory is this. I wonder what would happen to Nvidia in the laptop space without the support of Intel supplying their CPUs. I believe AMD will end up supplying Nvidia their CPU processor. If that becomes a scenario, AMD could effectively have 100% of the laptop space. AMD is getting exciting as a company again, and I wonder how this scenario will play out in the future. Thank you for watching my video. I won't have an update on the Aurora shareholder meeting video until Friday because it takes me time to edit, and because I have two jobs, it's difficult for me to make a video right away. If you dislike this video, please let me know and give me a thumbs down. Like always, thanks and have a good day.